Well, the devastating Saudi war drags on in impoverished Yemen, taking on a heavy toll on civilians. The World Health Organization is now warning that over 15 million Yemenis don't have access to basic health care. Now, according to the organization, over 1 million internally displaced people are among those in urgent need of health services. WHO says 53 health facilities remain closed amid the relentless Saudi airstrikes. Dozens of health centers are reported to have been targeted and nearly a dozen health care workers killed or injured during the attacks. Now, the World Health Organization has already sounded the alarm over the outbreak of some infectious diseases and the increasing malnutrition which have claimed lives in Saudi Arabia invaded its poor neighbor nearly three months ago. I'd like to welcome political analyst Mr. Navid Nas out of Zagreb. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to, to have you. Um, when we look at the situation of what's going on in Yemen, and as we've talked about before, uh, the obvious silence from the international perspective. Also, I want to concentrate right now actually on the Muslim world, being that this is also the month of Ramadan. And there is also a deafening silence coming out of the majority of the Muslim countries. Why is that the case when we see, as the WHO report has said that there is an increased uh, uh, pressure and possibly 15 million people don't have access to basic health care. Um, first of all, thank you, Mazia. Good to be back on air with you. Um, as far as your question goes, I wish I could give you, I wish I could give you a straightforward answer. I wish I could give you a, 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 a I wish I knew what was in the minds of the people that you are asking me about. I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's just plain um, cowardice because they know that this is something that the U.S. greenlighted and sanctioned initially and they don't want to rock the boat with regards to their own uh, country's relationship with the U.S. or whether uh, they don't want to fall out of favor with the Saudis or whether it's just simply a matter of not caring about Yemen at all because it's uh, powerless, it's the poorest country in the region, it, it, its people, at least to, maybe to the other countries of the Arab world, don't really matter that much. I, I wish I could put the finger on it and tell you this is why there is a lack of an outcry in the larger Muslim and Arab world. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't. I don't have an answer for that. Well, I, Navid, I, I wish of I knew course, myself. it's not the first time. It's not the first time that we've seen this type of reaction. Um, it, it, when we look at, uh, for example, right now we have. Uh, uh, in so many parts of the world. If we look at what's happening in Bahrain, not a whole lot is, is being talked about. And we look at this continual, it appears um, almost uh, basically bringing down the importance of, of, of certain uh, citizens of certain countries. On the one hand, if uh, a couple of people are killed in Western countries, it makes all the headlines. It's talked about for days, if not weeks, and different analysis. But when it happens many times in lots of parts especially of the Muslim world, and uh, whether it's the Middle East, whether it's Africa, basically nothing is spoken as if the lives of these people, more than 4,000 Yemenis have been killed now, more than 4,000 people have been killed, and basically nothing is being said about it. Is it an arrogance that basically lives in this region are less important? Lives in the region um, are less important. There's, there's no denying that. Um, there are times and particular instances where the loss of certain kinds of lives are actually amplified purely for opportunistic reasons and for self-serving reasons. By and large, though, um, the wider world doesn't particularly care. It's really interested in uh, resource extraction, and in making sure that pliable, uh, um, subservient governments are in place, or, or failing that option B, which is chaos and devastation. Um, so the loss of lives is not really a, a particular concern to uh, the international community, if you will. And But like you said, What's particularly shameful is that it doesn't seem really to be much of a concern, uh, at least with the case of Yemen, with regards to the wider uh, Arab and Muslim world also. All right. Thank you so much for being with us, uh, Mr. Navid Nas, out of Zagreb, political analyst.